All right, so today we're talking about a device called Reactivate. This is made by Mainstay. Um, these are electrodes placed in the lower back to help treat chronic low back pain. So this device is unique in the sense that it basically is stimulating the muscles, as you see there in the lower back, to strengthen your core low back muscles. The brain senses that those muscles are being stimulated and has a positive effect on the pain to block the pain signals. This is a, a type of stimulation that would be hard to reproduce with just doing core exercises. Um, you know, these electrodes are, are very specifically targeting um, the deep lower back muscles that are hard to get to. Um, the analogy here would be, you know, if you wanted to strengthen your bicep and you put electrodes on the bicep that caused it to flex and relax and you did that for a half an hour or twice a day, it would be the equivalent of going to the gym and doing a bicep workout. Um, that technology has been shown in, in exercise physiology and the way it's applied here is specifically to the deep low back muscles. Um, this is an implanted device, so it would be considered a minimally invasive procedure. It's something that would be a same-day procedure, so you would go home um, the same day as you had it put in. This is a little different than a spinal cord stimulator because this is being placed outside of the spine. So we're not going all the way into where the spinal cord is as you would do with a spinal cord stimulator device. With this device, it's being placed outside the spine um, along those muscles called the multifidus muscles that are involved in chronic low back pain. There is some testing that's done in the office to basically prove or disprove if we think that's where the pain is coming from. So that's kind of the diagnostic workup part of this is your physician assessing you and seeing if your pain matches with this kind of chronic low back pain. Usually we'll do some other techniques before we go to an implant, um, especially because as you see here, we are making a, a small incision to put the device in. So normally before we get to something like this, um, you know, we would try nerve blocks, possibly radio frequency ablation, it's the kind of procedure, since it is an implant um, and something that's put in long term, that you know, you'd want to try other simple things before you get to an implant kind of device. Um, the way it's placed is through a small incision. Uh, a couple needles are placed at a 45 degree angle, touching the uh, spinous process. And then over that, we're going to thread a guide wire um, and a cannula and then deploy the device. It's got good anchoring technology which helps to keep it in place uh, and so once the guide wires in we retract the sheath and we put in the device itself. Um, the long-term studies with this device are quite good. Uh, success rates around 70-80 percent in terms of treating chronic low back pain. Um, in terms of what it's like to get one of these, so as I said, this would be a same day procedure uh, where you would come to the facility and have it done under x-ray guidance. It is considered minimally invasive, but because it's not being placed directly in the spine, um, it's still considered a fairly low risk device. Uh, obviously, you know, you need someone who knows their spinal anatomy um, and who's facile with doing procedures along the facet joints. But what is unique and specific to this device is it's the first restorative uh, device that we have to implant in chronic pain medicine. So the device in place is utilized twice a day. Um, you can control the device and turn it on and turn it off. Usually we recommend doing 30 minutes twice a day 
and then your physician can determine your utilization. And we've seen good compliance in terms of the patients using it because um, they know long term it's strengthening the muscles and benefiting them. So this is a, a pretty new concept of something that's considered restorative. Uh, we really haven't had any restorative treatments in our bag of tricks. Up until now, everything's been palliative. Epidural injections, facet blocks, radiofrequency ablation, you know, all of those techniques are considered palliative, uh, meaning they're just kind of helping the pain without fixing the pain. So there are not a lot of procedures out there where we can hope to strengthen and restore muscles back to normal function. Um, as you can see in the video, one side has been placed and then you place the other side crossing over and then those will connect to a battery. So there is a battery implanted. Um, at this time, it is not uh, MRI compatible, but we expect that um, in the near future, there will be MRI compatible uh, versions of this device. Um, all in all, you're talking about, you know, a 20, 30 minute undertaking to place the device in terms of risks. Anytime you put a needle, small risk of bleeding, small risk of infection. Um, I partner with a surgeon to do the tunneling for the battery part of it. Once this is in, like, nobody would really know you had it. I mean, it would probably set off a metal detector. Um, but, you know, other than that, nobody would really know this is inside of you. Uh, but this is a brand uh, new option for patients with chronic low back pain. Um, the device has been around for several years now, and the utilization is definitely picking up. Um, obviously, if somebody's not happy with it or if their back pain is cured, it could be explanted. Uh, but this is meant to be put in long-term to give long-term relief for the lower back. Uh, otherwise, in terms of risk, you know, anytime you put in a device, you would be worried about potential for infection. So we do give a dose of antibiotics. Uh, but again, everything's done in an operating room under sterile technique to minimize those risks. Um, if you do suffer from chronic low back pain and this is something you want to discuss, you know, please let us know. As I mentioned, there's a couple exam techniques um, that would be done to sort of establish whether or not you're a good candidate for this procedure. And again, this isn't something we would do straight away with somebody who had like a couple days of low back pain. This is really for a chronic type situation. Um, that's what the device looks like fully implanted. Uh, again, this is a pretty quick and easy procedure. Can be done on an outpatient basis with minimal risk. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to put them in the comments. Obviously, for privacy concerns, we can't answer specific medical questions. If you have any need to reach us about an appointment, feel free. Uh, if you like these videos, please like, please follow, and your time is much appreciated. Thank you.